All right, guys, I literally just got this in the mail about 10 minutes ago, and I'm way too excited to open it up and see what this thing looks like. This is the new Speedy B Flex 25 Cinewhoop, and I am pumped to review this thing for a couple of reasons. This drone has LEDs surrounding the entire drone. It has Bluetooth built right into the flight controller, and it connects to the Speedy B app, and that's good for on-the-go tuning. And in my opinion, best of all, this is technically a 2-inch Cinewhoop that has 2.5-inch props. <laughs> Alright, so we have a quick start manual, we have a bag with antenna tubes, and it looks like some screws and a TPU piece. We got some spare props. This drone uses tri-blade props. Here we have a bunch of connectors, so this is useful for um, a naked GoPro, an SMO 4K, you have a bunch of different connectors in here, so whatever camera you want to use, you have a connector for it in here. And then here is the drone. Look at this. This looks so sick. That is too cool. I'm gonna take these little warning tags off just so they're not getting in the way. These warnings are basically just saying this drone only supports 4S. Don't let it sit for a while, otherwise the VTX will overheat. And just make sure that it's set up with your controller and everything before you try and fly it. This thing is just way too cool looking. All right, let's go over some quick specs on this drone. Like I already mentioned, this is the digital version, so it comes with a Cadex Vista in the back right here. Uh, for the camera, we have a Runcam Link Falcon Nano, which is a 120 frame per second camera. There are a couple different receiver options for this drone, and you can get it with the uh, Cadex Vista hooked up to the S-Bus pad on the flight controller. If you're planning on using the DJI controller, you have the TBS version, which is what I have right here. You can get it with an FR Sky RXSR, and you can get it without any receiver hooked up at all. If you look on the bottom of the drone, you can see the receiver is in this little sled right under here. That's actually directly underneath the, uh, the Cadex Vista. You can't really see it. You can kind of see the corners here, but the uh, flight controller that's on this drone is the world's first F745 35 amp all-in-one board that features onboard Bluetooth. So this flight controller connects to the SpeedyB app and you can control all of the settings right through your phone. The motors that are on here are SpeedyB 1404 4500 kV motors. And for props, we have Tri-Blade Gemfan D63s. I'm probably gonna swap these out for uh, five blade props just because I feel like they're a little more efficient on Cinewhoops, but I'm gonna try these and see how they do and then, you know. So when you're ordering this drone, you can get it with this LED strip that goes around the entire uh, ducts. You can get it in blue, green, or white. I went with the white because I plan on using this drone on a drone tour that has low light, and I'm curious if the LED strip will be able to illuminate the darker rooms for the walkthrough video. This LED is attached to the duct, and the duct is actually one big piece, and it feels pretty tough. It's fairly thick and doesn't have much flex. I almost never crash my Cinewhoops uh, because I do a lot of slower flying, so I'm not too worried about this breaking, but it does feel very solid. Also, on the back here, you have a little power distribution board with a switch at the top that controls if the LEDs have power or not. Let me show you real quick how bright these things are. So I'm pretty sure that that'll be able to illuminate a uh, darker room. Since we're at the back of the drone, let's take a look at how this Cadex Vista is all mounted. It's kind of in this TPU case, and something nice that they added is there's cutouts for the buttons, the LED, and the USB-C port. So you have easy access to all of those things. And this holds the antennas as well. We'll move to the front of the drone, and right up front, you can kind of see we have two ports here. We have the USB-C port right here, and that connects to the flight controller. And then over on this side is the port that's going to connect to whatever action camera you want to mount on top. And that's where all of these loose cables come in. I usually use a naked GoPro 8 on my Cinewhoops, and we have a cable for that. I haven't been able to find a mount for this drone that mounts to this iFlight TPU Hero 8 case yet, so I actually made one. This little mount right here is exactly like the ones that they include on the drone. 
um, but this has the three ears instead of the two. So this one will mount perfectly to the iFlight Naked Hero 8. I'll leave a link to this mount down in the description. So even though you can do all the tuning for this drone on your phone via uh, Bluetooth, you do have this USB-C up here and this connects to the flight controller. Something to note with this USB port, when you plug it in, you'll need to also plug in a battery to the drone as well in order for it to connect. The flight controller won't get power from the USB alone. All right, let's flip this thing over and take a look at the undercarriage real quick. Off the bat, you can see that these props are overlapping and what they've done is actually put a spacer underneath motors one and four and those motors are sitting about 10 millimeters lower than motors two and three. That spacer makes it so that the props can overlap and not hit each other. So that's how Speedy B has made a two inch drone with 2.5 inch props, pretty clever. I am curious how it will affect flight though. Also, while looking underneath, we have this nice little carbon fiber plate right here that protects the flight controller from any dirt or anything that might get kicked up from the props. This cover not only has a diagram showing you which way the props are supposed to spin, but it also has cutouts for all the necessary functions. Here we have a cutout for the boot button. There's also two smaller cutouts right underneath that that are for LEDs. There's a cutout over here for this port. And then you also have a cutout that has an arrow that's kind of pointing towards the front of the drone. And then over here we have a cutout for the Bluetooth module. And I'm sure that if the carbon fiber wasn't cut out there, it would interfere with the signal going to your phone. If you follow my channel, you know that I use 2.5 inch Cineweps for all of my residential real estate FPV gigs. I'm gonna put my rates on this drone, but I'm gonna keep the PIDs default and I'm gonna go fly a real estate gig. Um, I'm gonna be flying with this Beta FPV 4S 750 milliamp battery. Let's go.
So I just finished filming at that property with this drone, and I have to say I'm very happy with the tune that Speedy B has put on this. It's very smooth, even with light wind. The LED that surrounds this whole drone is pretty bright. I think it'll be more noticeable and help illuminate a room if it was later in the day, maybe after sunset when it's a little bit darker. Definitely good to have though for nighttime shoots, plus it just looks pretty damn cool. I'll probably take this thing out at night and that'll be a whole separate video. Next, I wanna talk quickly about the props. The tri-blade props that came with the drone are honestly not as loud as I thought they would be. They're definitely louder than my other 2.5 inch Cinewhips though. With this 750 4S battery on the tri-blade props, I was getting about three and a half, maybe four minutes of flight, which is pretty quick compared to my other Cinewhips this size. Um, but as soon as I put these Gemfan D63 five blade props on, I was getting closer to five minutes of flight. Plus it was a little bit quieter. I don't know how well these props compare to the tri-blade props as far as freestyle flight times go, but for my style of indoor slower flights, these five blade props seem to be way more efficient. Normally on my custom built Cinelog 25, I'll get about five to six minute flights with this same 750 LiPo. So this drone does still have a shorter flight time even with the five blade props on it, but you get a smaller drone and a pretty dope LED surrounding the whole thing. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to go over the SpeedyB connectivity. So this has Bluetooth built in, so it connects automatically to the SpeedyB app. Once you plug a battery into the drone, it'll be discoverable in the app. All you gotta do is hit the Bluetooth button and it should just pop up right there. From here, you can just connect directly to the drone right like that and it'll pop up with the Betaflight looking screen and you can control all your settings. Or what you can do is if you click the little gear right here, it'll bring you to the Speedy B Flex 25 wizard. And this basically helps you connect the drone for the first time and make sure everything's set up and good to go. If this is your first ever FPV drone, this is a great way to get the drone just up and running. So final thoughts. Despite the shorter flight times, I do really like this drone. The size, the LED ring, the Speedy B app connectivity, all really do set this drone apart from my other 2.5 inch Cinewhoops. Speedy B nailed the tune on this thing and it'll definitely be a Cinewhoop that I keep on hand for smaller properties. Again, I'll leave a link to this GoPro mount that I made uh, down in the description and I'll also include links to the digital and analog versions of this drone. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about this drone or if I missed anything, leave a comment down below.